Marvin, another good week? Yeah, yeah, good week. Um, good week's training and then obviously, you know, it ends with three points is, is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, good end to the week. Uh, means I can get another good night's sleep this weekend, Sandra. Um, so, yeah, no, brilliant. Overall performance, you delighted with it? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, you know, I would have been happier with a few more goals, especially in the first half. I think we created some really good opportunities. Um, the goalkeeper pulls off a good save. Gav says it came off his face and I think it hits the post and then comes out. Um, Lee Connolly nearly gets on the end of a Lewis Gibson cross as well. Um, Lee gets another one blocked also during that. So, yeah, no, I'm happy with the chances we created. Um, it sounds strange, but I was also happy with the way we bounced back straight away after conceding the goal. Um, in the second half and dealing with that kind of adversity that we speak about in football because it's been easy to you know concede that goal and think oh okay you know let's slow down a little bit and let's just build our way back in but again the boys are right back on it um, and then you know Lewis gets a fantastic goal so yeah there's definitely some some positives from that game um, but also some some things we need to work on and improve. She say it was a very quick response just two minutes after losing the goal and that must be the very probably one of the the key pleasing things today. Yeah, it is. I think it is probably the most pleasing thing um, in a strange way, like you said, because that bounce back ability takes you a long way in football, you know, because you are going to deal with things like red cards or you're going to deal with, with conceding goals, etc. And it's how you react to those things. Um, and as I said, you know, the boys reacted fantastically well to it and got that goal straight away. Um, and that then again put us on the, on the front foot because, you know, we conceded goals before and then teams have had something to hang on to. And that's what Edinburgh's game plan would have been here today. Obviously, the troubles that they're going through um, but we didn't allow that to happen and you know as I said you know, then Guff gets the, the third goal really late on That's probably another key thing to it as well playing right to injury time that, that, that third goal comes Yeah playing right to the end you know I think we were a bit sloppy probably the 10 minutes prior to that um, turning over the ball when we didn't really need to um, taking too many touches um, you know so yeah it was, it was brilliant you know good build up play he does really really well I thought he was going to you know, shoot on his right foot and he trots back onto his left and then tucks the ball into the corner um, and like you said you know it's a 95 96 minute game now um, so you play right to the end and you know it was brilliant to see that go in the back of the net you touched on it there the troubles that Edinburgh have got so today's game was kind of hiding to nothing really wasn't it yeah it was a lose-lose situation um, because you know you win the game of football you're expected to do so you lose a game of football um, you know and everyone's saying well how have you lost that game you shouldn't be losing those and that's what I said to the boys you know all week um, you know, you almost become a laughing stock if you lose because the whole of Scottish football will be behind Edinburgh, as I will, you know, going forward when they play other teams because it's tough what they're going through. I've been there twice as a player. Um, it's difficult, you know, especially leading up to Christmas when players aren't being paid. Um, but I also said to the players, it, it allows opportunity for young players, you know, that Edinburgh got coming through. You know, we've seen it with Hibs in, in the top flight with us, like so Stephen Whitaker and Scott Brown coming through. We all know the careers that they had. Um, so, you know, Edinburgh have a lot of energy within those younger players and, you know, they've mixed it with a few more experienced boys. But it's tough, you know, and that's why I don't really want to wax lyrical about my team when I know there's a team going through what they are and, you know, they've got their supporters who obviously back them and, you know, volunteers like yourself, you know, who are the lifeblood of our club. There'll be similar people there. So, you know, for me, it's kind of spreading a thought for them and, you know, I deal with, you know, how happy I am with my players internally. They came out, they're a young side, but they certainly didn't show that any different from, from other teams in the league? No, exactly. And, and, and the thing is, Sandra, you know, when you are a, a young player um, or, or a young team, you, you, have, you have plenty of energy about you and you have, you have no fear, you know, because it's almost like you don't understand the consequences of, you know, maybe not winning a game of football. And they've just been given an opportunity that two or three weeks ago they were never, ever expected to be playing out of their skins. You know, they've got a fantastic, um, you know, level to be playing at in League One when you're 17, 18 years of age and, you know, it's your platform to go and perform. So they're a dangerous team to play against. Brilliant on the counter, you know, really good against Sterling last week and that's the only game we could really have studied leading into this one. Um, so, yeah, you know, as I said, they, sh they show no fear and, and they'll definitely pick up points if they have to stick with, you know, that team uh, for the rest of the season. I'm sure of that. From our own point of view, back-to-back -back wins now. Mm -hmm. That consistency? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm boring, aren't I? Because I always say consistency comes in, in how you train throughout the week. You know, this is the end bit of the process. This is the brilliant bit. You know, it's, you know, to use an analogy, it's like taking a driving test. It's all the driving lessons you do beforehand to then go and win the test, that, uh, sorry, pass the tests that are important. So, yeah, you know, the boys trained well this week. They trained hard. Um, probably saw the, a couple maybe a little bit leggy during the game, but, you know, we, we wanted to have a hard week this week and we did that. Um, you know, and as I said, it's fantastic to, to end with a win. And, you know, now that's parked up. The boys have been told to enjoy their weekend, but when we come at the start of next week, it, it, it's work and full steam ahead as normal.
It does lift the morale though, doesn't it, around the place? Yeah, it does. Um, they'll tell you that I'm grumpy no matter what. Um, so maybe not mine, but yeah, theirs definitely. And, and it breeds confidence within them. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, but, you know, there's, there's one of those things of another sea, complacency. You have to be very, very careful not to fall on that side of it. There's a thin line between the two. So they've been, they'll be brought back down to earth next week. Um, don't you worry about that. And again, you know, we'll just concentrate on the process and, and, and concentrate on the Sterling game coming next weekend. It is about the Sterling game and it is again about keeping that consistency going, going mm -hmm. into that game. Yeah, it is. It, it definitely is, Sandra. Um, you know, and that's the important thing, like you said, is to have that consistency of performance, of effort and everything else. And as you said, you know, today could have been a lot more comfortable. People look at it and be like, oh, they won 3-1. It must have been a comfortable game. But, you know, if we'd have came away from here scoring six goals, I don't think Edinburgh would have had any complaints. Um, but, yeah, you know, keep things consistent, keep working hard keep yourselves you know kind of level-headed it's only two wins um you know those points are parked up and we've got a lot more points to play for between now and may